Thanks for tuning in. This is Phil with Xenonsupply.com and today we're going to show you how to install HIDs on a 1993 Honda Civic hatchback. First thing we need to do, pop the hood and remove the terminal from the battery. So let's go ahead and get started. The battery terminal uses a 10 millimeter bolt. Let's go ahead and unloosen it. Give it a quick tap, should come right out. Now to keep that from uh, connecting back together, I like to take some painter's tape and just wrap the connector so it can't cut. Just like that. Leave that off to the side. This is an H4 style um, housing. In order to disconnect it, you have to take this connector here and remove it. There are three plugs connected to it. Just give it a good firm tug. And it pops out. This one's a little old, took a little bit of extra effort. But uh, there is a rubber shroud that houses this thing. There is a pull tab at the top. Just pull on it, the entire piece should come off. Now we have access to the old bulb here. Now in order to get this thing off, I like to use a plier just because it's a little bit difficult to depress down and lift up to get over this clip. Let me go ahead and do that. Alright, take your pliers, grip on the very end, push down and push in to remove it. It should depress and you should have your stock halogen bulb removed. Here we have the replacement H4 uh, xenon bulb. I'm going to show you how to put this one in. This reflector cap here is always facing towards the bottom. It's going to insert this way. Same as the old one came out, the new one goes in. And make sure that this clamp is secure over it. And I'm actually going to use my pliers again for this. There we go. Make sure it's secure you should be good to go. The wiring for this is pretty simple. All the connectors have only one place it can potentially go to. The larger the connectors connects directly to the ballast, right here. Wait for the clicking sound so they know that it's properly on. Next you take these two sets here and it's male to female. Make sure these clips go over on each side. So, now the stop connector has three connections. You're actually going to take your red lead and put it in the top, and your negative lead and put it on the right side. Now we're going to take the passenger headlight out and convert it to an HID. In order to get access to it, we have to remove this air filter housing here. There are no screws holding it in place, but there is one small clamp here that just pulls out and then if you gently rock this back and forth the entire filter comes off. Now we have access the same way we did on the driver's side to this connector. The connector has to be gently removed like so. The rubber shroud removed and again I'm going to get a plier to remove, and it may be a little hard to see here, but it's the same as the driver's side. Grab onto the clamp, push down, and out, and allow the stock bulb to release. So, same as the driver's side, we need to insert the HID light with the reflector down toward us. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that it's in, go ahead and place the clamp on top of it again and make sure it clicks into place. Now that we have the headlight installed, we need to put the ballast somewhere safe. I'm going to select an area on the driver's side or the passenger side wall next to the airbox. 
And it's actually going to use these wiring harnesses as a mounting point uh, with some zip, zip ties, just like on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just like before, you don't have to tighten them until both zip ties are in place. Once you have this one secure and around this connector, you can tighten the second one. Just give it a test jiggle. Make sure it's tight. And remember to cut your ends. Similar to the driver's side, we're going to go ahead and connect the wires now. Take the longest of the wires from the headlight and connect it to the largest of the connectors here on the ballast. Just like so. Make sure it clicks into place. There we go. Take your two smaller connectors, male and female. Make sure these connected them in place. Just like so. Now, the wiring is the same. There are three connectors here on the passenger side as well, and only two connections coming from the headlight. Remember, the top is your power and your right side if you can see is your negative or your ground now that everything's set up go ahead and uh, reconnect the battery we're going to test whether these headlights work or not after the fact we're gonna go ahead and clean up our wiring and that should be it